Okay, you dogs are, um... It'll be kind of weird, but I, um... I'm recording this, like, 9... It's 9.43 p.m. Uh, right now as I'm recording this, which is kind of weird since I normally don't have the opportunity to record this early. In fact, I technically did, like, around 9 or something, but I decided to to wait a bit, dogs, or yeah, you're, um... I'm mentioning this because it doesn't happen <laughs> very often, so, uh... So, yeah, um... Today, I guess I'm going to go, um... Over here, I think I want to check this out last episode, but I, uh... I did not have time or whatever, and I swear, I keep getting confused with the camera, like, this is left. I'm pressing left right now. Yeah. I keep thinking it's the other way around, but the way the buttons are... I ha I can't, like, reverse them in my controls, because then... C left and right will be reversed, too, for, like, the moves or whatever in this game. Yeah, you so I'm gonna check this out. Dogs are... I don't know, it feels weird to be paying Banjo to eat already because the stuff I'm not taking, um. Because I played it last week, Dogs are, and I didn't the week before that because I took a break or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Klungo again. <clears throat> oh no, not you again! Her, her, her. Mistress said, Klungo must stop. You or I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating too. No, Klungo, win this time has new potion to try. Not like as much of a mood to talk very much today. I don't know why, but whatever. Like I'll read for like the text or whatever at least, yeah. This potions, I think that's probably the most annoying one, I think. Because I don't, if I mi miss hitting him, <clears throat> I have homing, right? I, yeah, that that helps really. Yeah. Maybe it's because like, I didn't get it first thing, because it's I have more stuff to hit him with or whatever. Now I don't know. That wasn't close. The bell works. Why did he run right into me there? It's whatever. If I t uh, talk lower today, I can make the game volume lower, whatever. Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No mistress needs me. Klungo return <clears throat> for more beatings. Then work on new potion. <clears throat> I think I mentioned before, like... I think I purposely have the mic volume pretty high, so... That way, uh, if I, like I said, if I talk low, it's not a bit that big of a deal. I have the freedom to. Might make some, like, episodes, like, inconsistent volume-wise <clears throat> from each other, I guess. And, uh, so, be one of those days I'm itchy, like, underneath, like, my headset, whatever. On my head, anyways. Yeah, but whatever. I'm not gonna stress out too much about it if my, uh, sometimes I don't talk <clears throat> as high as some other days, whatever. Also, new move. Clockwork Zoo eggs. <clears throat> the ultimate egg for you to hold a <clears throat> clockwork bomb that. That's a remote controlled. That'll be all. Dismissed. So, the. I don't know if it's a spoiler or whatever to mention this, but, uh. <laughs> Cockroach eggs are the last unique egg to uh, to get in the game. There's no more uh, after this. Uh, I mean, if you pause, it's really obvious. There's no space for any more. But yeah, there's technically one more kind <clears throat> that only appear appears in multiplayer mode, though. Um, maybe I'll mention it at some point. I don't know, but I won't for now, though, because damn it, you spoil what I was gonna do. Anyways, uh, why did you come at me from that far? Or whatever. Anyways, let me show off what these eggs do. Use the control stick to move the bomb around and detonate it by pressing B. Yet. Wow, you're an idiot. So, yeah, one of those is fake and one is real. I'm like, I can use that to figure out 
Which is fake because I know I figured it would run right towards and be a dumbass, but it ran towards me earlier than I expected him. That's surprisingly only my second one, but yeah. Once again, unless they purposely have some, um... The ones with not as many, uh, appear earlier on purpose, uh... I'm like, yeah, you were filled these technically because I used some earlier. <clears throat> I can't do this level yet. Cue here to right in the great in the great bubble elevator up to the clouds. So I need a lot of jiggies. Yeah, I think I mentioned before. Uh, it says I need tw twenty three. That's like not twenty three total. Twenty three more. So the actual total I need is uh forty forty five. That's a a lot of jiggies. Yeah, required to open this door. Uh, what door? Well, we'll open up here. I, I don't know. Some bubble, I guess. I don't... Anyways. I'm gonna do something. I figured I'd, um... It's fine to start, like, from there to come here already, because, uh... Even though I haven't opened the level yet, because I could technically show off something I haven't done yet, which will be helpful for now, so... Yeah. First, I want to make sure there's nothing to miss over here. There's shoes here. I cannot use them. I need them to go up there. I can't do that yet because I do not have the ability to wear the shoes or use them, whatever. Anyways. I have enough for this one. Can I read it, please? It is written that 20 jiggies are required to open this door. We have enough jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to my sacred temple? I already mentioned I, I have enough. I had enough jiggies to open this, right? Or at least open something. I didn't have time last episode, though, so I'll do it now. Will I do that level today? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I mean, might as well, I guess. I think I said I'll go to the worlds and, like, learn the moves or whatever. You can't see whatever, but oh well. I, that happened with the last level, too, anyways. Yeah. It's not worth it to play the other game, too. Uh... Oh, wait, I can't because I can't move the save over to it or whatever, right? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I mean, I'd rather you be able to see it, but whatever. Anyways, I would like to go to levels to learn the moves. And then go back to, like, go get the other stuff from the levels later, so... Let's say, like, I barely got anything in, like, Witchy World, for example, but I can leave that for later, it's fine. You have completed Jiggy Wee's challenge. Five sword out the great one. I'll show you the way. Behold the power of the <clears throat> mighty Jiggy Wee. Why, why do I keep needing to clear my um, throat today? Yeah, and it shows Banjo when it's not supposed to, blah, blah, blah. I've talked about that a gazillion times already. That happening. The game looks a bit weird with this emulator sometimes, but it, this one was apparently better than the other one, so... Yeah, yeah. Have enough jiggies to attempt... <clears throat> Challenge 6 come back later when you do. I need to do something about that thing later. Like, I'm not, I didn't get that, uh... This is something I thought I'd get a lot earlier that I haven't done yet, but, um... I'll, get, I'll do it later. I'm sure I'll remember later, so it's fine. And right now I will, uh... Check where I'm recording, I guess, because I'm curious how this has been going, even though... I haven't been recording for that long, whatever. Okay, so, uh, there's another thing I could show off. I don't know if I mentioned it already, um... E and even if I had it, it's probably pretty obvious, but I'll show it off anyways, because it could technically be helpful anyways, uh... Wasteland is just a dinosaur. For some reason. So you have a pretty limited amount of... Wow. It's off. 
of Clockwork Azui eggs. Don't want to get to hole 10. Uh, if I talk to him again, though, um, where I learned the movie, Eeyore fills it for me. Yeah, so if I wanted more fire eggs, I can go back to the fire egg place to get more of them. Like, the joke is that I'm Dragon Kazooie and she doesn't use up fire eggs, so... <laughs> I would never need to do that unless I change her back to regular Kazooie. I think I'm always in a tiredish mood when recording on Sundays, I don't know why. But, yeah... Which I just think is, um... Oops, I almost lose her. Wait a minute. Oh, it's over here. I have to use a grenade egg for this, right? Game is lagging again. So now that's opened up. I wonder how I can get that, Dogsy. So the clock of Kazooie eggs can actually pick stuff up. I swear that dinosaur better not try to attack me. Damn it. Like this, that, for example. Uh, you can use Clockwork Azubi eggs for thing things like that and get stuff you aren't honestly aren't, aren't supposed to be able to do that way. Um, <laughs> like, like for example, I don't think that's how you're normally supposed to get that Genjo. I, you're supposed to fly up there, I believe. But uh, you can also get it that way too. It's not normally ideal to do that all the time, though, because as I mentioned before, you can't hold that many. So, at times you might mess up and waste um, them. I, like, I already used up two, for example. There. But you have that option. Like, for example, I guess I can mention this because it's probably going to be a while till they do that again. Um, Last episode, I was in this area where I saw um, a Cheeto page. Um, in, like, in a Jolly Rogers Lagoon, like, in the water, underwater, whatever, place, and I couldn't reach it. You can use a Clockwork as a egg for that, but you're that's not technically the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Oh, there's no time limit. I thought there was for some reason, but you can grab this as a... Uh, yeah. Because we do it faster, yeah. Also, another Jinjo. Once again, you're... Actually, I, I can do that the regular way. Um, you're not supposed to use a... The way to get that is not with a Clock or Kazooie Egg. I don't think it's that far away to... To get the actual thing I need to... Um, To get that, uh, yeah. I'm really, like, have no energy right now. I don't know why. I mean, I should have waited longer to record. I don't know. I don't know if that would have mattered, but whatever. Yeah, that's how I, uh... Can get that without wasting the Clockwork, clockwork Kazooie Egg. I just was about the opposite way I normally like to go. Uh, you know, I'll do... Actually, I have an idea, yeah. Of what I can do then, because I want to go back to the beginning, kind of, for something. But there's a warp pad right there, so I can just warp there, yeah. You know? Kind of glad there's still some areas you need the weighty boots for, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I might as well wrap this, I guess. I hopefully I'll remember it's for this mumbo, yeah. Mumbo, yeah. I usually like to give the Globos to whoever it belongs to, whatever, like, near the area for right away, so I don't forget to give it to that person, but whatever. I'll hopefully remember, even if I forget. If I forget, I'm recording this so I can check my recording if I, like, really want to. Oh. I, was, I, thought, I thought there would be a triple cleft, but I guess it's somewhere else. So it's 10 o'clock, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here. I was trying to fly back and wouldn't let me. If I stay on the, around the edge, I won't get, uh, eaten, right? Have I shown off me getting eaten before by these things? I guess I gotta do with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll do it now. Um, I can at least use Mumble for, um, this. <laughs> Mumble's usage in this level is kind of weird. There's technically three areas you need him for here. 
in a sense, yeah. But you'll probably need him a lot more than three times, so... It's always the same text, so I'll just skip it, yeah. I never use them a level. I just, yeah, I just realized I never use them in Witchy World, have I? Yeah. It's kind of like a. It's always like the one of the last areas I reach that. I'll say, like, has a war pad. Like, it's not really a spoiler if I say that. It's always a war pad near my bull skull, but yeah. It's definitely not one of the first things I do. When going to Witchy World, obviously, because I would have done it already if that was the case, but yeah. Might as well do this now. You know, I probably won't use this use it that much, but yeah, gives the gives the excuse to give him a globo at least. As does this help show off what a spell in this level is, because it will help you help you know to know that for later on. Oh. Well, not for me, because I've played this game so many times, so I know, already know know what it does and what I need him for. But still, it's a good way of like helping you learn what it is, because having that knowledge will, is very helpful for for this level. Because saying, what do you need? The large spell for for other stuff. Yeah. I'm assuming that's why that's there, right? Because otherwise it's kind of random. You randomly need it to make platformers bigger. Well, I mean, also so you can use the waiting boots for something, I guess. And then now you don't have to anymore. I guess also for that reason. <laughs> I suppose. I think my first reason I gave isn't... It doesn't mean that first reason is wrong, I don't think. <laughs> Anyways, I want to warp, right? I just said that earlier. <laughs> it's just good thing I'm recording early then, because uh, if I want to go to bed earlier today, because I'm probably kind of tired or sleepyish, whatever, I could finish editing this earlier than if I'm re recording it earlier. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could just edit this tomorrow, but whatever. Who cares? Anyways, I want to go... I usually go this way first, the other way, because there's a move right here. I almost forgot about it. High up ledges are out of reach. A jump to get there I'll now teach. Choose your spot with the greatest care. Only one jump for the bird and bear. I don't get why he has to learn how to use shoes, but whatever. He now knows how to use them finally. <laughs> I've seen those like a while, like the first for the first time, like a while back. I kind of already want to leave to to do something, but before I do that, I'm going to uh, might as well do this before I forget about it. A certain type of enemy you can only, pretty sure can only destroy with by doing this. By using these eggs. I did I mess up. Whoops. Rock Nuts Tribe, we got big, tough... Oh, yeah, I, I messed up him, didn't I? That was weird. I don't think I've really ever done that before. At least not very often, yeah. I was saying, maybe I should show off, like, hitting, trying to hit him first before I kill him. Yeah. I was saying, I hit him at a weird angle, so I'm not surprised I messed up there, but yeah. It was some weird lag, too. Anyways, let me try to actually do this legit now. You should, I'm not going to face the way I want him to. Yeah, he was right before Anyway, maybe I'm glad I messed up there so I could show that off first, but yeah. Uh, that was really weird, though. <laughs> maybe I should do this properly. Why is the camera acting, like, face that direction for it? There we go. Arg, not fair, found gap in armor. <laughs> Others not so easy. Still four of us left. Because yeah, we use fire, like regular fire, is not a very reliable way of killing most enemies. Because they run away from me. Like, if I want them to run away from me, um, that's nice, I guess. Anyways, let me leave temporarily to, um... I was grab one of these. To show off something. Actually, I might as well talk to Jam Jars again to refill my clockwork eggs, actually. So I guess I grab that 
one earlier for no reason, but whatever. <laughs> How long did I record my part? Last time, you piece of shit. My god, this one in particular is annoying. I gotta refill my health here too, so whatever. I was playing with nesking and wouldn't have to worry about. I think I'm used to like just using these uh, without much regard to how many I have because I like to play with nesking on. For this LP, I'm not obviously, so I have to be more careful with that. Like so, like thinking to go to jam tires to refill them is not something I normally think to do. Something I just realized like maybe that that's actually a good idea. I should think of that. Yeah, yeah. I can go up here now. I already go to the already go to the next area. <laughs> So, spoilers, this is the last place of Aloe Hags. Left, I've not been to, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. There's two levels here as well, like the other one. Um, One is all the way up there, I would not have... Like, I have to, like, actually go out of my way to check up there to see that, but yeah. Actually, even now, you, even from there, you can't really see it, but there's a level up there. I'm not gonna go there until way later, uh, and another level's over here. No entry. This is the next level, actually. Uh, I need 28 jiggies for this one. Yep, I don't have enough, obviously. And that is a Minjo. Yep. Whatever, who cares. Okay, let me go back to Terry Dak to land now. There's no really reason to go over there already. I'd be like, I can, might as well. <laughs> well, it's on my mind, too. Also, in case you're wondering, the it's Grand for that one. Let's go back into the dinosaur mouth that no longer has sharp teeth. Also, there is an area, like, entrance, whatever, right next to the place I learned the shoe move. <laughs> Guess I might as well show you where, um, what that leads to. If not, so, there's not that much I can do in there already yet, but whatever. Uh, it's the train station. Uh, uh, I don't. The switch is not actually in this room, so I wouldn't. I don't normally come in here this early, but whatever. I guess I can kill this guy now. I think if I go. Bring him too close to him from the front, he will attack it, so... I was, like, trying to be careful of that. Benjo again. You run away. Why oh, did I show off, by the way? I, I do normally kill these at the beach. Barge? It's because the roll doesn't do anything to him. In case you were wondering. There was a reason I always do that, yeah. I didn't know you could go up here, what the hell? This is really awkward. I guess I'll record for like five more minutes before I check my recording because I don't remember how short the other part was, so whatever. I might not make this a long episode because I'm. don't know why I have no energy. I feel like last time I recorded this it was the same way though, but <laughs> so I don't know. This is, uh, I bet this better not always be a thing on Sundays, because I always record Banjo to be on Sundays. <laughs> you not come past, no one gets in Oogle Boogle Cave, they bad men. Why is that then? We Unga Bungas want to rule all Terry Dactyl land, Oogles want to share, they bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good point, okay, I'll leave you alone then. <laughs> Notes are up here. I want to check out this place, though. I forgot I can actually come up to this area from from there. I normally go over here through a different way, whatever. Oh, okay. I guess I can show this off. You seem okay, me let you in. Oh, wow. Okay. There's technically not really anything to do here, and I'll show you why. Because I've been here already, yeah. It should be, it's probably been obvious by now, but this, like, this area is pterodactyl land, uh, like, 
as you see, I've already learned two moves here. Hatch was the other one. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna... Actually, this, I guess something slowly I could show off because I don't think I've done it yet. So, and I, I forgot to do it when I learned the hatch move before. I'm probably not going to think to do it at any other point, so while it's on my mind, I will shell this off now. Some enemies don't care if you shoot fire at them, though. They'll still run towards you. Like that one, yeah, you. Why have I used a blue? Oh. It's like a while to cycle through the eggs now because there's so many, but yeah. I forgot those, those the uh, angry beehives respawn. Yeah. In case you're wondering about this. Hi, you down there! Get off my precious egg! Why won't it hatch? Because I don't want it to yet. Oh. Okay, I said I was gonna wait a bit longer, but I, I'll ch guess I'll, I'll check my recording now. Actually. Okay, so for some reason when I was checking my recording, uh, I don't know if I closed it by accident or freaking crash, but like. The emulator window closed randomly, I don't know why, but, um... Thankfully, it was, it was uh, after I already saved, although I think this game auto-saved, so I probably would, would have been fine regardless, but yeah, that, um... That was weird. Yeah, yeah. No big deal, though, but it was strange anyways. Uh, let me leave now. Why did this emulator act weird when I'm in this area? I don't know. I think when I was using the other one, it was, it was slow. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, I can wear these shoes then. Sorry, no, no, not coming in wearing silly shoes. I don't know why, but this helps me leave here faster, I guess. I forgot what I need these for, actually. Oh, for this, I'm assuming, yeah. You down there, steal my eggs, would you? Then take this. I don't normally do this this early, but I guess I might as well, yeah. Can help me start to do something else later on, I guess. I just happened to be here, I guess, that's why I'm doing it now. <laughs> It's the might as well do it since I'm here game. I just go along with wherever I'm going or something. Um, warp pad. I mean, if, if I really wanted to, I could just... Uh, yeah, you made it. Come on, I dare you to come up the stairs. I'll show you what happens to egg robbing bears. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could just leave in, from the warp pad. I have the warp there already, but uh, I guess I might as well do it now, yeah. I just saw your egg, though. I didn't steal it. I just wanted to hatch, and you're like, um... Did I go the wrong way? Oh. Oh, I know what this is for, huh? Okay. I haven't been in there from the bottom yet, which is a... I normally don't go come here from the top first, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, okay, that's why. So it's actually been a while since I've done this, because I think the last time I played this, I didn't actually do this uh, part yet. I didn't reach here yet. Give me back my eggs, you filthy, light-fingered bear! Oh, uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me! I want my eggs back, or else... Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two. Oh boy. One of the weirdest th threats or comebacks I've ever heard. Oh, it's a cr there's a crack on the floor. Oh, I can't escape through there, damn it. Mm, I reckon I can get a better vantage. Point around the other side. Yeah, I don't want to shoot you with, um... Clockwork Zooby eggs. Those eggs hurt. I'm off for a rest while 
the Mokoids soften you up. Uh, these are and also enemies that will all magically come to you, so the fire is actually really good here. Also, yeah, grenade eggs do more damage to him when he's, um... Where do all my snotty buddies go? You've stolen them just like my precious eggs. The damage of the grenade eggs, yeah. You can only hurt them with eggs here, obviously, yeah, but, uh... Four damage, yeah, but fire eggs are... I have infinites so. up. The homing eggs acted really weird there. So I would use fire eggs instead on them. It was really awkward to explain all that because I kept talking and I wanted to talk the text, whatever. Do I want to know what that purple stuff is, by the way? <laughs> I think I'm making this boss fight take longer because I'm not using grenade eggs, though, or whatever. Because <laughs> it makes it more interesting because this boss fight honestly isn't very hard, so... <laughs> the last one always drops me up, so I know which one's the last one. Always. Like, it's not a coincidence that, well, I slipped off there? What the heck? Oops. Can I kill him now? Yeah, I could have. I don't know why I was being so conservative with firing my eggs there. I, don't know. I was thinking about using a grenade egg or two at that point, because I feel like I would still. It wouldn't be enough, and I was right, but oh well. For, uh, sh for sure, should be enough now. Did the game just crash? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, that was weird. Because, like, it happened with the target sand thing before, too. But I think I tried to... I did try to fix it that way, right? In case you're wondering what I did, I clicked off the game, and then I clicked back on it again. I swear if that was the problem last time and I could have just fixed it that way, but whatever. That was a couple episodes ago, so whatever. Stop it, I've had enough. Enough, so it's not worth... Concerning myself with it now, anyways, yeah, I beat him. I haven't even done the boss of level 3 or 4 yet, right? <laughs> whatever. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear, sorry about the rough stuff. That's alright, I enjoyed it. Perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Would you? That's real nice of you. There are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Leave it with us, Terry. Please, fan. The eggs for me before I become <laughs> extinct. I'll give you half the reward now and half later. I mean, obviously I need a Jiggy for beating a boss fight, right? So, yeah. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this. I should be, maybe it's a good thing I did this early then, because it'll help me get around this area easier. I've already seen this before, but now I I couldn't hatch it yet, though. I've already seen another one in that area I could access from Mayhem Temple before. There's a probably one in this Oogle Boogles cave area. I wonder where that is. You know, so it's weird, actually. I always thought this was kind of weird. Is it? Yeah, Jiggy from BD Terry, right? So you're probably like, what's through this hole I can finally go through? That's, that's it. I mean, I guess you can wonder how to reach this Jiggy from below, because, like, 
That's an area you can actually go to. I'm like really high up. If you're like there at the beginning, you probably wonder like, how do I get that jiggy all the way up there? That's how I get it. Yeah, but it's kind of weird. It's right next to, yeah, uh, because like it's like open it up with the bell drills like pretty obvious. Like even during the boss fight, it was. So it's a really weird lo location for that jiggy to be, in my opinion. But whatever. And for like helping with the the eggs, or whatever, I also get another one too. So. That was might take a bit though, because there's four. I think it, did he mention there's four? Because well, I'm telling you now, so whatever. Oh, getting to this one is kind of weird actually. So there's one over here. It's with the split pads or four. I didn't check this earlier because I figured I would just do it now instead. Has someone been repairing holes in their nest recently? Really? It was obvious. You didn't need to tell me. Wow, give me a clue for that. Wow, I'm not stupid. So, Kazooie cannot climb. Only Banjo can. So, I have to figure out another way to get up there. Yeah, Kazooie, I can just hold A. I don't have to worry about falling eventually. Uh, like, taking fall damage. By the way, I don't think I mentioned that already, but yeah. I don't know, Banjo's fat or something, I don't know. There should be, anyways, there should be a flight pad here somewhere. Right? That's how I get up there. There it is. <laughs> I see a lot of feathers, but it's, they're easy to refill, so whatever. Yeah, I guess if I used a fly pad in here, yeah, I would have seen that. That, what, like, otherwise, like, how would I? I mentioned before, like, you could see it from below, but uh, like, I guess who would think to do that? But like, I guess when you're doing this, you would see the fly pad and see what it's for, and or something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. That's one of my precious babies! Ah, isn't it cute? I'm surprised I could fly with such little, little wings. Where are you going? You can't go up there that way. Anyways, if you're curious, I can... You can look at the baby now. In the, in the nest. You can even hear it, too. I almost went the wrong way and fell off. So on the left side. A very small, small baby as it's leaving now. I guess I could check. Actually, I'm going to do this before I forget about it. I was like, I could have checked. The, there's something else to do in that area, that cave, whatever, from the bottom. I'll do it later, though. Let's, I want to check out something else instead. Now let's cross this bridge, whatever. This is also also not something I do early, usually, but whatever. I want to kill these guys first. This is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Careful not to fall, because I will fall if I fall. That'll be bad, cause yeah, you. Yeah. This is really random, but how many cheetah pages do I have? This randomly crossed my mind. Yeah, I have enough for a new thing here, cause I really was looking at my um. I think I already mentioned this anyways, right? Uh, my uh, e I got a in double feathers, or whatever. The next one is double eggs. Cause I realized like I don't have that many, which is weird at this point of the game. I should by now, but yeah, I realized that like it's kind of weird that I was this this concerned about being this low on Clockwork Zuby eggs. I'm like, wait a minute, I think there might be another reason, and I realized that that was why. Uh, take care of that later, though. I can't do everything in this area, but there's a war pad here, so whatever. Mm. Okay. This is a very dangerous area because um, it is the Stomping Plains. 
There's three switches beyond the stomping planes. One of you must press is both Banjo and Kazooie together. One is with just Banjo and one is with Kazooie. The easiest one probably is Kazooie alone because Kazooie is fast enough to not have to worry about uh, getting stomped because she can make it to the yeah years in time. I wasn't even enough to refill completely. I got hit there, really. There's a reason there's feathers there, and I'll mention it later. Um, I went the wrong way. The camera is acting, acting very yay. -y. Actually, let me check my recording now. Like, I swear, like I always want to record longer, as I feel like I haven't done that much. But yeah, it goes by so quick when playing this this game for some reason. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Did I, I saved, right? Yeah, I want to make sure. Anyways, uh, I think I mentioned this already, but I think the reason why I feel like I'm, like, not playing in the game enough in, like, 45 minutes or whatever is because I'm stopping to explain things sometimes and I'm playing, like, I'm just generally playing the game a lot slower than I normally do <laughs> to explain things or whatever. I think that's why. I feel that way. I knew I'd get it there. Really? I'm being too impatient, you know. He always brings me down to one health, so as long as I manage to get one more health somewhere else, I'll be fine if he hits me again. He always either bring you down to one health or I'll kill you if you have one health. Yeah, the camera's acting weird, that's why I keep messing up. Like, like pressing R, like, very hard there, because I don't know why the camera's being stupid, but yeah. And I... Uh, Kazooie, uh, let's get this Jinjo. Cool. So I'm gonna go back now, uh, I could press this to go there as Banjo, but, uh, Banjo can't, uh, do this yet. Because I need him a move to do the first. In case you're wondering, like, Banjo's way too slow, like, how would you do that as just Banjo? Yeah, I can't do it yet, uh. To me, as Banjo and Kazooie is actually pretty obvious, like, so obvious you probably would even think of doing this because it's not a move you need to use that much uh, in this game. But you need to use the golden feathers, uh, yeah. That's why there's these feathers all over the place to help refill them in case you need to for some reason, but yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna screw it. <laughs> I don't care, I'll fill them somewhere else later. But I don't have to waste this many doing it, but whatever, I'm, I'm impatient. <laughs> there we go. This leads to a jaggy. I wonder where this leads to. It leads to an area, a secret area. I wonder what's beyond there. We'll find out for a while, probably. Let's leave now. Uh, let's really at least fulfill some of the gold feathers first. Uh, here, I guess, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this now, yeah. I wanna go and learn the last move I haven't learned yet. That might be helpful for... That's a move that's helpful for a lot of... It's like one of those moves that's just helpful for a lot of things. Um... It's not necessarily a move that's like useful to use like... Um... I can pretty much like any situation I'm in to like kill things or something. It's just useful for like certain like... I feel like, like, Jiggy getting certain quests or whatever to get Jiggies or whatever. And once, once I get the move, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> Probably easier to explain if I just... After I learn the move, what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I said I was gonna make this a shorter episode and I changed my mind again. I probably should have done that a while. Like, right now it's already, uh, past, uh, ten... 10.30 already, yeah, so I've definitely been recording for a while. Doesn't necessarily feel like as a... Like, the time I'm recording is weird compared to how... How I normally... When I normally do it, yeah. Yeah, so these eels are in, in this level too, actually, which is interesting. They're not an enemy that only appears in one level. They're an enemy that appears in 
2 instead. I don't think they appear at any other levels besides this one and Jolly Rogers Lagoon. They don't, right? I don't think so. Those are notes I tend to forget about sometimes. I don't know why. So I'm like, I want to make sure I grab all of them. <laughs> While I actually realize they're there. It's exciting in the Oogle and Unga caves. I do... Oh, Unga cave. Well, I'll do that later, though. The egg there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is a Banjo move. I have to go there as Banjo. Uh, I've already, obviously already got the Kazumi, Kazumi move in this level. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be a thing uh, by, from now on, by the way, pretty much. Every level will have like a Banjo or, and a Kazumi move in the same one. For the most part, yeah. It's going to be a recurring thing for sure, yeah, anyways. Banjo cannot attack these things by himself, so... I'm going to kill them right now. I don't think I technically... I don't think... I technically can go over there without having to kill them, but it'll help to have him dead already, though. Yeah. They mentioned I can get an extra jump by using the pack whack, by the way. I don't think it's intentional, but it helps sometimes. Otherwise, I think I would have had to do the crouch jump, whatever. Have to fall onto that one. Kind of awkward. Why are these sellers here or whatever? I'll take them though. Oh gosh, thank god I have enough notes. <laughs> no Kazooie means space in your pack. A way to fill it is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground and they go and carry in around. Hash need I needed the most notes for hash like in this level, right? I I like that maybe that's intentional considering that you can learn it early in a sense, just not too early. So it's not like it's not early enough that it matters that much, which is probably done intentionally. Probably, I don't know if they intentionally put it there in a place you can access early enough. Maybe they did it by accident or something, but I'm like, oh, it's like it shouldn't be that big of a deal though, because it's 420 notes, so. And it's a fifth level uh, move, yeah. So by the time you have 420 notes, you'll like either have it open or like almost have enough to have it open. Anyway, so, but since it's a, <laughs> it's something you can get early. I wanted to show it off because it was kind of interesting, yeah. Like it doesn't really matter that much though. Especially what the move is, it's just hatch, <laughs> big big whoop. Even taxi pack is more of a useful move, I think. Although, I don't think I've really seen any, like, reason to need it yet, though, like, early on. There is a way to, like, but I haven't really, like... Like, there's something in Witchy World, for example, I need a taxi pack for, but I don't think I've seen it yet. Because I barely haven't done that much stuff in uh, Witchy World, yeah. So I guess I'm killing another one of these guys. I think there's like a reason I want to leave to do something before I end the episode. I don't remember. Remember what I was thinking, whatever. Something I want to do here, though. Or ride Jinjo. That's why I'll just stay in this level. I don't remember what the reason was I was thinking. Whatever. Finally have this open. And there is a um, warp thingy here. Get up there. I'm not gonna go into Wumbas, whatever yet, though. Nice to have that open, though. I wonder what that is. I'm not doing that yet. So, I mean, I technically can do it now, but I'm not. I don't feel like doing it right now. So, so this is have to keep in mind the episode. Whatever, I don't want to make t too long, as I said before. Oh, I think I want to get the Cheeto, whatever, I'll do, whatever, I'll do it. It's some other time, whatever. I don't feel like leaving the level right now, so whatever. Uh... 
I could stay in this world and try to get f three more jiggies or go to a past level, or whatever. I'll just stay in this level for the rest of the usually rest of the episode at least, and then decide on that stuff next time, I guess. Whatever. Split up because Kazui jumps up higher when she's alone to grab that. As I mentioned before, you could technically use a clock or Kazooie egg for that too, but like, why would you do that when you just do it the way I did it instead? Go away, leave Scrotty alone. Why are you so sad? My family isn't keeping too well. Let's hear all the problems you want me to fix. Look at my eldest Scrat. He's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Which doctor? I don't care, any doctor will do. I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the cliff top who might help. Scrat here was out walking one day and came back this size. Now he's too small to be a proper dinosaur. Scrut has gone missing. She took some money from my purse and headed off to the train station. So many problems. I told you so, Banjo. We'll see what we can do. You didn't tell me anything, Kazooie. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wonderful. It's nice to know not every character in this game is bad. So this, uh, this quest involves you doing a couple things. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty obvious what the Doctor or Clifftop is supposed to be. It's Clifftop in particular because, as I mentioned before, Mumbo can only use one certain spell per world, and this quest in particular, like, that matters a lot to keep in mind, yeah. So it's pretty obvious what I need to do to fix you, because I showed off this, this world spell already. And for this dinosaur here, it's also probably pretty obvious by now, because I still haven't uh, helped a certain dinosaur get back to their home yet. That is in Sill and Chuffy's wagon. Which I can do now since I opened up the train station, yeah. So I don't know if I want to mention it yet when I opened up the train station. Um, I figured I'd come here first and do that, yeah, you. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. Since I'm going to the train station anyways, I might as well do this now. I was really planning on doing this quest, uh, working on this quest yet, but I might as well if I'm going to go there... Because, like, I was going to end things off by opening, bringing Chuffy here, but I'm like, since I'm going to do that anyways... I might as well go there as Banjo and show off the move I just learned, too, so, yeah. A lot of people say this quest takes a while to do, but, like, it, as long as you know what to do, it's not, not, not really, so whatever, it's left and then, yeah. Sometimes there's just jiggies that take a while to do compared to others. Like Some aren't like as easy as just beating Terry the boss and then getting the other one right away at the bottom of the nest. I still don't know why that jiggy is there. That's a really weird one in my opinion. I've always thought that. I already said that already, but still. They just give you another one right afterward. <laughs> like, you can't get that one before the boss fight. There's no way it's impossible, so it's weird. You know, so sometimes if you do that, like, well, bring the taxi whatever early, they'll say something, but this dinosaur won't do that. I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to show that later anyways. I guess it takes a while to get there because Banjo was not very fast, but whatever. Yeah, I already have the, all the warp points in this level already because I did some stuff earlier than I, than I intended to, uh... Than I thought I would, yeah. I guess it's a good thing I got taxi. Went to get taxi back then, because. <laughs> I mean, it led me to the area. Yeah, yeah, that's why I went over there. I was thinking about opening a train station thing this episode. I'm like, I guess if, if, I'll, if I'll be there, I'll just do it when I'm around the area. And that's what I did, so yeah. Yeah, Chuffy is loading or in Glitter Gulch Mine. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yeah, because I'm like, I, it's like I rem remembered I could actually technically call Chuffy here with Banjo alone, so yeah. 
Might as well, -er. Why you in Glitter Gulch Mine again? I don't remember. I'll probably just use you to get over here. Yeah. As I mentioned before, there's no reason to bring him back for anything. The There's always a reason for all the train stations. Glitter Gulch Mines is just because that's where Chuffy is from. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, you finally got to go home. <laughs> I hope Mom won't be too mad at me. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. It's not her fault. She got locked up in a cage for some reason. Unless she wasn't supposed to leave. <laughs> I don't know. I keep thinking it's B, but no, I thought press left. And then B? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, now this, this dinosaur is here. Oh, I'm still feeling rather rough. Is this train going to a doctor? Uh, at some point, I will bring you there, but for now, I'll awkwardly end the episode inside of Chuffy's wagon for some reason. Anyways, uh, till then, bye, I guess, dogs are yay, or I will do... Get more jiggies to... I don't, I don't know what my plan is next time. I never have a really a plan, honestly. <laughs> Including for this episode. I didn't really have a plan either. But yeah, anyways. Uh, bye, dogs.